In Callings Part 3 last week, we opened up to expansive possibilities. We allowed ourselves to play with our wildest visions, connecting with possibilities beyond our current life situation. Now this week, we're going to go and get regrounded and go over four essential questions we can practice when we hit obstacles. And hitting obstacles when we step more in our path of our calling is inevitable. This week, we're going to take a current obstacle or even a past disappointment that we're still carrying with us in the present and look deeper into how to claim the gift or gem or wisdom or whatever it is we can gain from that experience for ourselves and use it moving forward. This is one of those times where I, when I work with clients, I remind them that this is a good time to be completely selfish and greedy as anyone can be, to claim whatever inner gifts, gems, strengths, wisdom, learning, power, and so on, they can get from a life experience. In other words, when I've gone through something difficult, and especially something painful in life, then whatever gift or strengths or wisdom gets illuminated in me from that experience, I'm claiming it from myself. I'm going to be as greedy and grab whatever I can from that inner opening, from that place within myself, for myself. Not to do so, not to let a perfectly good or difficult situation or painful situation go to waste. I don't want to do that. Which is why we are taking this time to cultivate inner structure to better handle when life seems to push back at us. And in this way, curiosity, truth, and even delight become the context of our callings. This ultimately leads to more love in our life as well. Now looking at the highest callings that each member in our group has identified, we'll look at how they are a call to draw more love into our life. A quote from Marianne Williamson states, it takes courage to endure the sharp pains of self-discovery rather than choose to take the dull pain of unconsciousness that would last the rest of our lives. Now that's the power of being in a growth-minded mastermind group. Each month we explore a life theme and each week we dive into specific topics on that theme. Then each member is expected to write their action for the week that we can check the following week. As I've talked about in, in previous videos, writing it down becomes a plan. If we only keep it in our heads, it stays a dream. So from our discussions in our mastermind group, we move to writing on paper or typing in a document. Then it gathers more power. There's even been you know, research that shows this. Those that get clarity and write their actions down towards their calling, then end up moving further into their calling than those that don't. My name is Klaus Klein. I'm a registered clinical counselor and the leader here in our Bold Life Action Men's Mastermind Circle in Vancouver. If this is something you'd like to be a part of, then give me a call, message me, email me, find me. We'll have a chat and see you being a part of our intimate, growth-minded men's circle group is a fit for you. Wishing you all the best and look forward to connecting with you soon.